Um, yo ho ho, salutations and how's it going? How's it hanging? Uh, it's me. This this is me. Well, not the little guy flailing his arms to buy a buy in the background. That's that's Jack, in his beautiful beautiful suit. Dude, what a classy gentleman. Anyways, uh, I'm the guy. I'm a fantasy OST, I guess. The guy that posts Radiate Stories soundtracks over and over on YouTube. <laughs> I did mention on the comments of the last video I made that uh, I was considering taking up some of my free time to actually replay Radiate Stories after a few years and actually... I, I was actually considering, considering recording it and making commentated Let's Plays because uh, I like talking, quite honestly. <laughs> and I have a lot to say. No, I'm just kidding, but for real though, there was a couple of guys in there that seemed to like the idea, and I, I guess it, it could be pretty funny, right? So I decided to make this video and see where it's gonna lead us. I don't know how much or how often or for how long I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing, or even if anyone's gonna watch it. <laughs> but here we are, that's, that's what this is. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that you have a good laugh. <laughs> All right, let's go. In the bird cry of the cosmos, the twin eyes awake. Above us they shine, the world made safe for our sake. The forests, they flourish, the towers grow high, the four lights shine down, chaos withers and dies. But imbalance grows, forests turn dark, this is our doom. The tower breaks the sky, here come the dragons to bring it down. It's all very important for us to actually understand what's going on, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right, this this is ready at the store. It's coming in hot. Uh, well, I guess I'm just gonna start a new game. Uh, I'm playing this on a PC. PC what's it called? PC SX2 emulator. Uh, I'm actually gonna put on a 16 by 9 because I think it looks better in game. The menus look scuffed, like they look weird. This looks a lot better, but trust me, in game there's actually a lot more we can see if we leave it at 16 by 9. It's actually pretty funny. I when I was a kid, I, I I played in a very tiny God, it was so tiny. A tiny CRT connected to my PS2 in my room, right? And I remember looking at the configurations, the, the settings, you know, and seeing this like what the fuck is 14 by 9? Uh, 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 like why why would I why would I not, why would I want to stretch everything out like jeez But yeah, this looks better and I guess most people are gonna be watching on either computer screens uh, monitors or uh, Cell phones and yeah, it's gonna look a lot better for us I'm gonna leave vibration on but I'm, I, I'm not pretty sure if it's gonna work because um, oh, A steam as a gun steams gun steam plays in the background sound uh, I guess we're gonna leave it at stereo. Voices. It's pretty funny that the game offers you an option to just go with text only. I guess voice only too. We're gonna leave it both, obviously. But if so you want, you can just play it as a visual novel, I guess. <laughs> Battle camera. I'm not really sure how much difference this makes. I'm gonna leave it at manual, because that's where it, where it is. So, um... I guess I... I <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're just jumping into it, right? I'm playing on a Xbox 360 controller connected to my PC. I guess that's not really the most optimal way to play a PS2 game, but it's what I have. And again, I hope it's gonna work. I don't think it is. The vibration of this controller actually works. I, I tried it out, but I still haven't really seen it working on a PS2 emulator. So we're gonna see. All right, let's go. So beautiful. Shiny book. I remember my 
first reactions as a kid, first time I've ever booted the game, looking at this. I was not a good gamer when I was a kid, and I was afraid I was, afraid I was gonna have to fight this freaking dragon, like, right away. Dragon, dragon on the right. How can something be so round and so funny at the same time? Jeez. That's one of the things I remember thinking about. It's like this. What a weird shape for the dragon's head. I guess it's not. Is it? Is it dragon? I guess it is a dragon. This is so badass, and then the game is so... The game itself is actually so silly as you progress along the story, right? This just... This just looks cozy, though. Well, Mom and Dad? It's almost time. Jack's ready at last. <laughs> or is he? <clears throat> Hey, sis, where's breakfast? <laughs> Jack Russell! <laughs> I love how he has what his pajamas, like, on backwards. Today's the day we've been waiting for. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. You most certainly have. Why aren't you more excited? <laughs> Scratches on ass. now. Aww, but I just got up. Yeah, give him some breakfast, you Jesus. You're You're gonna force a kid to train, like, on an empty stomach? Come on, that's just mm. cold, Adele. There's not much going on in this small village. Hey, Dad's sword. Yes, Jack, this is your father's legendary sword, the Arbitrator. Of course, you aren't ready to use it yet. But someday you will. Says who? Let me use someday, it. Someday, Jack, you'll become a great knight like your father. You'll be a leader of men with this sword at your side. I know you will. Or a woman. Woman too. Wow. But first, you have to pass the night selection trials, right? Hey, no worries. Leave it to me. All I gotta do is beat everyone else, right? Listen, Jack. Not just anyone tries out for the knights. These people really know what they're doing. Don't be too cocky or they'll make you answer for it. You can't just wave your sword around. Um, can we save the fencing lessons for later? I gotta head out or I'm gonna be late. <laughs> oh, look at the time! Jack, what are you doing? Hurry up and get going! Wow. Adele, I'll pass those night trials for sure. And before long, I'll be an even greater knight than Dad was. Oh, he just has no idea how great his father was. No idea at all. But... Maybe that will be one of his strengths. To the overconfident young boy was such a big cliche in like fantasy settings, like in the early 2000s, both in like video games and in anime, I guess. Castle. I finally made it. I wonder how long he actually Dad, took to walk. Are you watching? 
Because, like, you could run, Jack, just saying. That's how video game characters usually move around, right? But he actually walked. <laughs> Even though he was already late, like, damn. Oh, it's Daniel, look. And a bald guy with no name. I'm just kidding, he probably has a name. I don't know it, though. Oh, look who it is, it's Ridley! You mean very tiny, right? Dude, get a bigger freaking mustache. Look at the other dude. The other, the other dude actually has a respectable mustache. Attention! The Royal Radiata Knight Selection Trials will now begin. Candidate Star and Paul, you're up first. Proceed to the Coliseum immediately. <laughs> I love that. Like, let me go first, you freaking peasant. So, let's see. I have to fight Ridley Silverlake, right? Ha <laughs> ha, he's dead meat. He sure is. Oh, that was fast. So that just leads us to believe that Paul is actually pretty strong, right? But uh, no, like Star just sucks. Calling the next candidate, Ridley and Jack. Proceed to the Coliseum immediately. Let's go. All right, Ridley. Hope you're ready. <laughs> what? No way. Holy Jesus. Look at Star. Ridley's a girl? Sheesh. I was looking forward to a real fight. Uh, man. I suck at holding back. We don't gotta hold back. Dude, let's get her. You wanna become a knight or not? Come on. Look, it's the Pope. Welcome to the official <laughs> Royal Radiata Knight Selection <laughs> Trial. I will be your referee for this contest. My name is Junzaburo. What a name, dude. The test you are about to face is a traditional Radiata Knights elimination tournament. In other words, it is a completely unbiased assessment of your ability. You unbiased, will earn huh? points for every hit. But should a knockout occur, the winner will be declared immediately. Understood? Let's begin. Combatants, take your position. Selection Trials, Round 2. Ridley Silverleg versus Jack Russell. Jesus, she just grabs a giant freaking axe. Begin! Alright. So the game actually is... Actually... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Wait, what happens if I actually win this fight? Come on. Dude, let, let's actually do it. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ridley. Come on. You can't hear what you can't see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo! -hoo! Too good for you, really? Come on. I'll block you, and then I'm gonna beat your ass. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Ridley. Ooh, there's a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Ah, get away from me, Ridley. No. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm beat your ass. Oh, my God. She takes no damage, too. No. Let me alone. Come on. Yeah. Ah, there she goes. No, 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 no. That's not fair. Why are you slapping your own face? Oh no, here she comes. Ooh, that looks like it hurts. Ouch. <laughs> no, come on, Ridley. I was gonna beat you too. Oh, she just turns away and, and walks like. Oh, fuck you. I'm, I'm gonna beat you. Poor Jack, man. She cheated. She totally cheated. Fucking special attacks were not in the rules. Oh, yeah, that's actually. I always thought it was nice how Sebastian, the little robot, actually takes care of us too. Like he could have just kept tending to uh, Lord Star, but no, he he tries to help us too. To 
Everyone to the Coliseum. Jeez, look at Daniel, dude. Ooh, he's in bad shape too. Huh? Come and get it! <laughs> huh? They're announcing the results. You're supposed to go to the Coliseum. Results? Huh? Well, what about my fight? Miss Ridley was the victor. <laughs> you mean I lost? I lost the match? Yes, Miss Ridley beat you in the first round. Uh, no. It seems Miss Ridley has been training to become a knight from a very young age. How does he even know that? Like, how does he? How does he even know stuff about Ridley? Defeated. You should not feel too bad. I can't believe I wow. lost. I think that I think Star is dead though. <laughs> he still hasn't like came back to consciousness. Ooh, what's the name of that? What's the what's that guy's name again? It's like Lord Larks or something. The blonde guy. The tournament winner Ridley Silverneck yeah. has passed the selection trials, and there will be one more, Jack Russell. What? But sir, the young boy does not yet possess the skills to be a knight. Don't you recognize his name? Russell? You mean, Cairn Russell? Yes, he is the son of Sir Cairn, former captain of the Blanc Chevalier. This one may have a bright future. Thank God for nepotism, huh? Lux, are you sure it's wise to place him under the command of Sir Gantz? I mean, Sir Gantz. He is the son of Sir Gawain, as I'm sure you know. Cairn, Gawain, Jack, Gantz. I believe that their entwined fates could make them a powerful combination. Why? Junesaburo, carry on, please. <clears throat> Introducing Lord Larks, Prime Minister of Radiata and Commander in Chief of the Radiata Knights. Oh, he's actually Prime Minister. And I, Captain I didn't Gans remember Rothschild that. Rothschild of the Rose Cochon Brigade. New recruits will be placed under his command. And now for the tournament results. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Ridley Silverlake. <sighs> and there's one more. Uh, another one? The keen eye of Lord Larks has identified a young hopeful with a great deal of potential. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Jack Russell. Woo! Uh, Nepotism! No way. Hooray! <laughs> I lost the first round. Jack, as Jim's girl mentioned, you have been chosen not because of what you can do for us now, but what you can do in the future. Oh, that's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Understand isn't it? that you are now one of the Knights of the Kingdom. Bear yourself accordingly and serve it well. So. <laughs> I am Gantz Rothschild, captain of the Rose Cochon Brigade. Master Jack, Lady Ridley, we will hold the inauguration ceremony immediately. But first, please go to your assigned rooms and change into your new knight's attire. That will be all. I will see you both at the ceremony. Now, who among us doesn't love Gantz? Like, so amazing, He's so cute. Now, that guy... That, uh... This will be Master Jack's room. Okay, steward. Oh, that's that's his his function. Steward little. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> we had the same reaction. I join the knights and I have to stay in this dump? <laughs> this dump. Can I help you? Did you just call my room a uh, dump? See, I knew there was some kind of mistake. This is your room, right? Yep, it sure is. Your room sucks. This gentleman is Master Venet. He will be your room leader. Room leader? Oh, it's at that time already. Master Jack, you will find your trainee knightswear on your bunk. 
Once you have changed, please proceed to the third floor meeting room. You are expected at the Rose Cushon inauguration ceremony. Sir Gans is ready to begin. Do not keep him waiting. I believe that will be all. Ah, yes, I neglected to introduce myself. I am Al, the castle steward. Is this isn't the way. Oh, look at that. about anything at all, please do not hesitate to come and ask me. It's pretty funny that his name Isn't actually changed it, like, as he hey, said what his name up. was. Turns out his name is not actually Stuart Little. <laughs> it's Jack, Al. the new guy, huh? Nice to meet you. You have a very uh, weirdly shaped man. Do we uh, both stay in here? That's your bed back there. You have a very weirdly shaped head, man. No! <laughs> so dramatic, Jack. When you're done with the death whales, come in and get changed. Fine. <laughs> okay, he's he's fine now. He just he just needed to get the scream out of his lungs. He's fine now. Well, who looks like a little lord now? Jeez, do the royal knights really fight in this getup? <laughs> I actually hate that outfit. Dude. When you make captain, you can wear what you like. Until then, you stick with regulation. You know, Pops, that doesn't exactly make me feel any better. <laughs> You're gonna have to learn to treat your elders with more respect. And who are you calling Pops? I'm only 21, okay? You're only 21? Jesus, dude. Things are not going well for you then. I mean, I guess... I guess they're going okay in the sense that, like, you're only 21 and you're clearly slowly climbing the ranks of the knights, right? But, damn it. I guess you're pretty strong, like, look at your arms. What is that? There's a giant spider on the wall. <laughs> oh, we're talking about the save flag. Okay, okay. But are we gonna do something about the... Giant ass fucking spider, though. Please. By pressing R1, you can find the current save flag. Okay, yeah, we can open the map. Hmm. Ooh, here we are. So, uh, I guess we have a lot to talk about, like us, about me and you guys. But first, let's talk about your eyebrows, man. Hi. Like, okay, the one, the things on the top, they're eyebrows, right? What about the things on the bottom of his face? Like, uh, is it supposed to be a mustache? All things come and go so late. Wait, what? Huh? If you work hard, you get promoted to. Oh. I guess we were talking about deep things and I just didn't pay any attention. And yay! We can walk around, we can kick stuff. Oh! We're already getting our, getting our things. So! Oh. Alright. First things first. Hello! It's me, again. Final uh, Fantasy OST. Usually on the internet, I go by the name of Utrex, which is written Rootrex, but it's pronounced Utrex because I'm I'm dumb, I guess. This is the name I made up for me when I was young. Uh, hello. Uh, this is me trying to make a Radiata Stories video. Hopefully, make more videos after that. But yeah, uh, there's a lot that I don't know yet about like how things are gonna work in the settings. I've been making a lot of tests with uh, different volume settings so that you can actually hear my voice and that the game isn't too loud. And uh, I'm also messing around with the graphic settings and the video settings on the emulator. So I don't know if the game looks like shit. There's a lot of weird stuff happening in which if I try to increase the resolution of the game any higher than what we are right now with it, I think we're about like a little bit more than 1080p. If I get any higher, like the characters and the models, everything looks amazing, but we start getting some artifacts and some uh, reverse blur effects. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it more when we get to it, but I, I guess we should do a first save and then we should proceed. Okay, no. No save files on my fake memory card. Wait. Ooh, what do you mean it's not formatted? Oh my god. Plus time it's gonna work. Okay, okay. So I've been talking for like 20 minutes. Jesus, that's a long time. 
Uh, yeah, let me see if everything's working, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so it seems like the volume is okay, and uh, I guess we should get on with the game, right? So, um... I'm Hugh Trax, I guess you can call me that if you think uh, Fantasy OST is too long. And... This is us going into Radiata Stories. Now! I've decided to actually make a commentated Let's Play, instead of just playing the game, because, I mean, who would want to see that, right? Like, we've all played the game a thousand times. Um, I have not actually played the game in a really long time. Like, I, this is not the first time I'm playing it, like, after adulthood, I guess. <laughs> now, I'm 24 years old right now. I think the last time I played the game was probably about, like, five, six years ago? Maybe a little bit less? Probably four or five years ago, uh, I played it on emulator. The game was not running so well at the time. I didn't have a, a very good PC, but I played the game because I love it. And that was the real time, that was the real moment I actually came back into the game, right? So this is not like my first time playing it after like 10 or 15, ye 15 years. So I'm not gonna pretend that I have no idea what's going on. I remember most of it, but I have not played like any games at all on my, uh, on controller, like, in a really long time. I'm usually, uh, mouse and keyboard kind of gamer, you know, that's how, sometimes I play games, that's how I usually play them. So I'm gonna suck, like, I'm not here to try to show you the correct way to play the game, I'm just gonna be having fun, and I hope you guys can understand it, right? We're just chilling to the game, uh, we're gonna enjoy the story, the battles when I suck at them, and we're gonna try to enjoy my shitty English. <laughs> I'm not an English speaker, uh, na natively. I'm Latino. And I have not actually spoken English in a really long time. I usually watch a lot of English stuff. I read English books and stuff like that. But I'm not an English speaker, so... I think you can understand most of what I'm saying, but... I, I am completely aware of my shitty accent. I hope you guys can forgive me, right? Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this dude. Every time we kick this guy, he gives us uh, one kill, or Dago, it's the name of the... Oh yeah, it's Dago. <laughs> if we want to stay here and kick this guy for all eternity, we can. We could actually just set up a macro to like, just keep pressing X and get unlimited money, but it's pretty slow. I guess I'm probably, I probably shouldn't get much more than that. Huh? Yeah, okay, that's enough. Do you actually say something? Hi. Hi. Hello. So, uh, we need to go to the meeting room. It's on the third floor, okay. Boy, I'm gonna get lost in this castle a lot, I feel like. I know that there's a lot of different rooms you can, that you already have access to, right? And that you could just get items from them, especially consumables and analysis balls and stuff like that. <laughs> balls. I probably shouldn't... I probably should just take a look for the basic stuff, but I, I'm not just gonna keep... Like, I'm not just gonna explore it for like 15 minutes, because I've been already... I've been talking for like a really long time, right? So I think we should probably just... We should probably just get on with our lives and just go ahead with the story, right? Otherwise, this is gonna take forever, dude. Yeah.